What's up folks, my name is Felix. Welcome back to this short update today on ARK Finance. We have some things to talk about. We want to take a look at the price chart on the utility products, the on and off ramps, the air card, what's new over there and also on the overall statistics, what are liquidity controller reserves doing and the new people which are joining the ARK. Without further ado, we want to jump right into it. And take a look at the current token price. We are still sitting at this $1 ARC token price. We see a little more buy volume than sell volume, but this buy volume is mainly coming from the liquidity controller reserve. Let's take a look on these liquidity controller reserves, which are currently sitting at 226,000 US dollars. If we compare them to my last video, we can see I uploaded this video here around 10 days ago and now the liquidity controller reserve is down almost 90,000 US dollars. And I can also show you that on the graphic if we jump over to the Dune dashboard and scroll down to the liquidity controller reserve graphic that the liquidity controller reserve is losing around 10 to 7, sometimes only 5,000 US dollars every single day. And that's why we need those utility products as soon as possible. The on and off ramps, the Terra card, the air card, then also, of course, the Zoom calls to onboard new people because ARC is reliable on fresh capital. The fees which are generated by these products won't help to cover all the withdrawals from the people from the ARC vault account by itself. We need fresh capital. They just announced in today's podcast that the on-ramp will probably go live on Monday or Tuesday next week. So this is good news. We heard over the last three to four weeks that it's almost done. It's almost done. But now as we see the liquidity reserve going down day by day, these utility products are necessary to sustain the price at this $1 level. I know those guys, the whole team, Atlas, Brad, and everything behind this project are working their asses off in the background. They create these products and they want to release them as soon as possible. But as always, there are some changes on the way. There are a lot of things to figure out, to don't confuse the people, to make it as easy as possible to onboard new people. And that's why we have to be patient, educate ourselves by listening to podcasts on an almost daily basis. Even if you have not the time, just listen in for the first five to 10 minutes. There is the most information. But if you put it on 2x speed, you will get all the necessary information to do an educated decision on how you want to move forward with your ARC tokens and all the products that come. Me, for example, I'm just collecting my ARC tokens currently, selling around 50% and holding the other half because I want, of course, to try out the air card once it's released, go online shopping. Brandon, for example, the guy behind the Drip Guy channel released a very cool short where he is showing how the air card works. It's basically one minute long. You can watch it. I will link it down in the description. And this will be a massive use case for people to just off-ramp their ARC tokens, which they get on a daily basis here. I, for example, get around 50 ARC tokens daily. Then I can swap them in BUSD, use them for my air card to go shopping, to buy some groceries or other stuff. And this is a very, very cool use case and will help to onboard a lot of people, especially in the current situation where the on and off ramps really struggle in the market. So. I'm very excited to see those products, but again, they have to be released as soon as possible before the liquidity reserve is running out of funds. That should do it for today's video. If you want to share your opinion, feel free to do it down in the comment section. If you like today's update video, please like this video. That's it. Thanks for watching and let's get this crypto.